Hello again and welcome to your weekly gambling news roundup. The news this week is brought to you by PlaySlotsForRealMoney.com. That's the numeral four and EasyMobileCasino.com. Subscribe to our newsletter to get the latest news and bonus codes delivered to you weekly. For the most recent online casino ratings and slot machine reviews, stop by CasinoSlotsMoney.com. For Bitcoin and other cryptocurrency quotes, stop by ArmyOfBitcoin.com. Please take a moment to give this podcast a five-star rating on whatever podcast platform you're on. It really means a lot to us and it's so easy to rate and review us. Also, feel free to view the links below, which are helpful resources. In the first story this week, OJ Simpson settles defamation lawsuit with Las Vegas Casino Resort. A 2017 lawsuit between OJ Simpson and the Cosmopolitan of Las Vegas was finally settled on March 31st in Clark County District Court. The terms of the settlement were not released. Simpson was suing the casino resort for defamation of character. This was related to an incident at a steakhouse and lounge inside that property. Simpson was banned from the Cosmopolitan for drunk and disorderly behavior. He claimed defamation of character when media source TMZ stated that he was drunk and became disruptive. The casino's defense was that Simpson's character was already tarnished due to his criminal record. Next up, a pair of six-figure jackpots claimed at Lake Tahoe Casinos. Caesars Entertainment owns and operates Harrah's and Harvey's Lake Tahoe Casino and Resorts in State Line, Nevada. Now, this town is located on the southeastern shore of the lake. Now, both properties were in the local news lately after paying out a pair of six-figure mega progressive jackpots. James Snyder and his wife Annette won $529,000 playing three-card poker at Harvey's Lake. The couple was visiting from Minnesota. The top prize was won on a royal flush. On April 8th, Robert Davis of Waco, Texas won $100,840 playing a Blazing Sevens progressive slot at Harrah's. Both of the big winners are Caesars Rewards members. In the next story, in-play wages drives popularity of betting on golf. Legal US sportsbooks are seeing an uptick in the weekly betting handle on professional golf. Betting on the outright winner of the current week's tournament accounts for a small portion of the funds. A driving force in the increase can be tied to in-play bets. Now, this pertains to the amount of money bet on golf after a tournament has gotten underway. The players' odds to win the round, tournament or head-to-head -head matchup are constantly in flux as play wears on. Bettors can follow the action. They can then decide how they want to bet based on the changes in the odds. In the last story, East Alabama search warrants turn up illegal gambling machines. A recent raid on nine different properties in Calhoun County turned up illegal gambling machines. Firearms and narcotics were also seized in the search. This took place on Friday, April 9th. The Aniston Police Department released details of the raid to the general public. Calhoun County Sheriff's Office also took part in the raid. Uh, the Piedmont and Jacksonville Police Department played a supporting role. These raids took place while Alabama lawmakers consider various legal gambling expansion legislation. This ranges from a state lottery to land-based casino gambling venues. Any proposal would be subject to a statewide referendum vote. Well, remember to visit PlaySlotsForRealMoney.com That's the numeral four and EasyMobileCasino.com Subscribe to our newsletter to get the latest news and bonus codes delivered to you weekly for more updates. Please share this podcast on your social networks. And remember, for the most recent online casino ratings and slot machine reviews, stop by CasinoSlotsMoney.com. And for Bitcoin and other cryptocurrency quotes, stop by ArmyOfBitcoin.com. Feel free to view the links below, which are helpful resources. That's your weekly gambling news roundup for this week. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.